Making money like a man Laying in my ice like shrimp Mint condition that I'm in Coming with the freshness Today's project will be the sink cabinet that's gonna go right here where all the stuff is and I will be doing this 30 inches wide the idea will be that there's a door in the back that I can open up to pull out my gray water jug there'll be a door on the front um, underneath there's going to be my hot water heater as well as just like a little emergency toilet so I got the wood all cut out last night again I'm using three quarter inch um, Baltic birch. So we're gonna go ahead and get this screwed together and then figure out kind of what we have for room in terms of face frames. So let's get to it. So exciting day. The other night, got the kitchen cabinet in. Sorry, it's a little dark, but I got ended up getting my extra drawer slides. So we got this bottom drawer in and the top one. And today I'm gonna be working on trying to figure out how to get the butcher block installed on here. Uh, I also got the paint started on the sink cabinet. I'm gonna be working on that as well. And there's also a shop dog here. <laughs> okay, after a little bit of struggling the other night, came back this morning, got this cut out at the oven, piece cut out, and it's fitting really nice in here. I am absolutely stoked. With how this has turned out. I just need to sand it down and I need to put my first coat of oil on here Then we can get this bad boy installed. All right, the butcher block is installed on the driver's side of the van. The oven fits in really nice. So I am super stoked with how this is turning out. However, I can't quite finish this installation yet because I do need to run all of my propane lines before I seal that all up. Now we're gonna move on to the sink cabinet and getting that finished up. The sink that I'm using is from a company called Vigo. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's labeled as a vessel sink. So it's meant to be used for a bathroom. Um, I'm going to be using it in more of a farmhouse style, so it will be undermounted and you will be able to see the front of it. One thing to mention here is that it is made of stone, so it is very porous. So if you decide to use the same exact model, which I'll have linked below, you need to seal it before you use it or you will have issues with water in the future. 
So let's get to it. Just hit it really hard with the hammer and try to blow it down. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> The sink cabinet is all installed and we've got the faucet ready to go. Obviously I need to go back and get all of my plumbing run before the water is actually working, but that's a future problem. Now, you may have noticed in this video, I did shiplap my back walls and I built some beams to go over those weird pillars in the ProMaster. I intended on showing that process in this video, but basically what happened was I built the walls one way, didn't like how they turned out, ripped them all out and then rebuilt them. And the first time I built them, I filmed everything. And the second time I did not because I was just so upset and I wanted to get it all finished. So I do intend on showing this in a future video at some point. I do think it's helpful to see, you know, maybe what I did wrong and then how it looks now because the, the area back there is just a little tricky to work with, so. Anyways, as always, I will be continuing to post videos throughout my van build. So if you are interested, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.